sommes ravis de vous accueillir aujourd'hui pour cet événement très spécial. En effet, dans quelques instants, vous allez pouvoir découvrir qui, parmi nos quatre finalistes, fera partie de l'équipe ambassadeur 2015-2016 des 10 de Paris. Mais avant de célébrer tous ensemble le 50e anniversaire du programme Ambassadeur, nous tenions avec Antonella à vous remercier toutes et tous. Les cast members, nos collègues avec qui on a beaucoup partagé, nos visiteurs, nos fans de Disneyland Paris, sans vous, cette expérience n'aurait pas été aussi unique. Donc du fond du cœur, merci à merci toutes et à tous. tous. perpétue l'héritage de Walt Disney ici à Disneyland Paris. Mais il faut savoir également que ce programme célèbre cette année son 50e anniversaire au niveau global. C'est en 1964, alors qu'il était trop occupé pour euh, répondre à ses nombreuses sollicitations, que Walt Disney lui-même décida de nommer un de ses casse-members pour les représenter. Et bien sans plus attendre, je vous invite maintenant à remonter le temps jusqu'en 1964 et tout ça en images, en regard. July 17, 1955, Walt Disney opens the gates of Disneyland to the world. Open the Fantasyland Castle in the name of the children of the world. The happiest place on earth soon becomes the most exciting destination in the world. In fact, in its first two months of existence, Disneyland will have been visited by one million guests. The park that was looked upon as Walt's folly is a phenomenon. So much so that even Hollywood celebrities and world leaders deem it a must-see experience. As the early years of the park rolled by, Walt became busier than ever. After all, he was involved in creating animated shorts, animated feature films, live-action films, television, and now a theme park. As the year 1964 began to wind down, it meant only one thing. 1965 was coming, marking the 10th anniversary of Disneyland. There were many activities planned to celebrate the year, but Walt was less and less available to make personal appearances. That's when a young marketing executive at the park came up with an idea. One of the things, uh, we had an idea that would be a good idea, you know, good thought to uh have a young lady elected from all the cast members each year to represent Disneyland for that 10th anniversary to go on the road in different cities and meet with the media and so forth. We sent a memo to Walt and a few weeks later came back with a good idea, let's do it. So that's where it started, that's where we began. Originally carrying the title of Miss Disneyland, tour guide Julie Reen was the first cast member selected to become what would be ultimately known today as Disney Ambassador. How do you do? Julie would be the park's official representative, hosting VIPs and making appearances on behalf of the park, both locally and abroad. I'm looking forward to meeting some of you personally. The plan was that Julie would complete her term at the end of 1965, and thus also mark the end of the Miss Disneyland role. But the role of Park Ambassador proved so successful that it was decided the program would continue on. In every year to follow, a new individual would be selected as Ambassador. That is, until 1995, when the concept of an Ambassador team was introduced in order to meet the increasing demands of the Ambassador program and to better represent the diverse cast of Disneyland. Though the program began at the original Magic Kingdom, it expanded nationally in 1971 with the opening of Walt Disney World in Florida, and then internationally as resorts were added over the 